Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the continuation of the worksheet where we ended. Uh, let us continue. Alright, we discussed about uh, these questions over here. Uh, these uh, were all about uh, divisions. Okay. Alright, now uh, I told you to try these questions and uh, then come back to me if still you have a problem. Okay, but without further ado, let us continue. We have this question over here. The question says, in an experiment, a scientist mixes together three substances. She mixes 18.42 gram of substance A, 5.8 gram of substance B, and 0 0.75 gram of substance C. Then she divides the mixture equally into four containers. What is the mass of the mixture in each container? Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is uh, to add all these numbers. In an experiment, a sentence mixes together three substances. She mixes 18.42. So you take 18.42. You add it to. Uh, you add it to. Uh, 5.8, and then uh, you add it to. 0 0.75 okay uh, let me transfer this symbol here and then so we have 14.42 of substance a 5.8 gram of substance b and 0 0.75 gram of substance c okay so first let us add this so put one more zero here put the other zeros over here so this will be 2 plus 5 is 7, 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 7 is 19, carry 1, 1 plus 9 is, uh, I mean 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 5, that is 14, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is the answer, okay. Then she divides the mixture equally into four containers, so this mixture, is going to be divided by 4. So what we do, you take 24.97, you divide by 4. Okay, 24 divided by 4, this is 6. 24, subtract the remainder 0. Take this decimal point, put it over here, and drop a 9. 9 divided by 4 is uh, 2. This is 8, subtract, this would be 1. I'll drop this 7, 17 divided by 4, this is 4, and 4, this is 16. Okay, the remainder is 1. Then you had to add 0. Then do 10 divided by 4, this will be 2. 2 times 4 is 8. When you subtract, you are getting 2, and then add 0. 20 divided by 4, this is 5 see that even you can use a calculator to do that uh, 24 24 divide so 24.97 divide by 4 uh, you'll be getting 6.2425 okay so now uh, we got answer 6.24 6.2425 and then we are going to give the answer correct to two decimal places okay two decimal places we have how many decimal places are here we have one two three four decimal places they need uh, two decimal places so you keep a boundary over here and then it's 10 of this number check on the right there is a two so a two is not bigger than 5, so you add 0 here. You'll be getting 4, 
2.624. Now the 2 and 5 is cancelled. So the answer will be equal to 6.24. This is the answer. Correct to two decimal places. Or you can use a calculator and type the number 6.24. And then uh, just use a fix option, and then place two decimal places, and you'll be getting something like this 6.24. Okay, I hope that helps. So let us move on. You can pause this video and try to do some other questions. Okay, uh, let us remove this. Okay. We have this question here. Uh, this question says, Razi says, if I round 496 to the nearest 10, if I round 496 to nearest 10, to nearest 10, and to the nearest 100, the same number, I round it to the nearest the nearest hundred I get the same answer is that correct explain your answer okay uh, let us start with the nearest 10 so we do 496 to nearest 10 to round this number to nearest 10 uh, to nearest 10 uh, this is once this is tens so check on your right hand side that is a six six is bigger than five so you add one over here so this will be nine plus one is ten carry one one plus four is five okay this number here becomes zero you see that so to nearest ten to nearest ten the answer is five hundred okay now let us do it to nearest one hundred so this is four 90 this is 496 want to round this number to nearest 100 so this is ones tens hundreds check to your right hand side there's a nine nine is bigger than five so you add one here so this will be five now what happens on nine and six those two numbers they become zeros okay so we are getting same answers so uh, 496 to nearest hundred to nearest 100 the answer is 500 okay now the question is i get the same number okay is Raz correct so here we say Raz is correct explain your answer all right so the working uh, what we say is uh, refer to the work done the work done above okay so you can refer to this working here and see how we got the same answer this is this working is explaining how we got the answer okay refer to the work done above okay now we have these other questions around each number to one decimal place okay we have to round these numbers uh, to one decimal place. Okay, what we do is, let us start with A. We have 0 0.63. How many decimal places are here? There are two decimal places, but they need only one decimal place. So you stand here on the first decimal place and then check to your right. There is a 3. A 3 is not bigger than 5, so you will be adding 0 over here. And this becomes 6 point, see this, this becomes 0 0.6. What happens on a 3, a 3 is cancelled out, and the answer is 0 0.6. Okay, 8.27, we need one decimal place, so there is two decimal places. So you put a border over here, check on your right, there is a 7, and 7 is bigger than 5, so you will be adding 1 to 2. This becomes 3 point, see that? The answer is 8.3. What happens on a 7, you cancel that, and the answer remains 
that is one decimal place. So you can try this as your homework. Maybe let me do this. 9.194. Uh, they need uh, one decimal place. Okay. So there are three decimal places and they need only one decimal place. So you stand over here. You keep a boundary. Then check on your right. There is nine. Nine is bigger than five. So you add one over here. This becomes, uh, this is two decimal point this becomes 9.2 what happens on a 9 and 4 these numbers you ignore them you cancel them and the answer becomes 9.2 so you can try this try that it's your homework okay uh, let us move on uh, all right now let me talk about uh, significant figures okay now, when we say significant figures, significant figures are numbers or are digits like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These numbers are what we call significant figures. Okay? Now, somebody may be wondering, how about a zero? A zero is not a significant figure. Zero is not a significant figure. Zero will be a significant figure if it is placed in between two non-zero digits. For example, consider the number 102. Can you see this zero which is between one and two? Now, this zero is a significant figure. Why? Because it is placed between nine to zero digits. Okay. How about two hundred seven zero zero one zero zero? Can you see this number? Okay. This number in words, it is read as one two three one two three is twenty million seven hundred twenty million uh, seven hundred thousand and hundred. Can you see? All right, now, uh, this number here, how many significant figures are there? How many significant figures are there? Okay, we find that we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. So we have six significant figures. So we have six significant figures. Six significant figures now can you notice that uh, these two zeros are completely not counted as significant figures it is because uh, those zeros are not significant figures because uh, they are not placed in between uh, non-zero digits you see so these two zeros are not significant figures okay so they are not significant figures. So how many significant figures are here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. So we have six significant figures. Okay. Now, having uh, tried to introduce to you what does a significant figure mean, now let us answer the question. Round the number. Okay, we have the number here. Let me put some others. Okay. We have a number here. The number is uh, 5.37 376 Okay. So we have 376-376-398. Okay. Now we need to round this number here. We need to round this number here. Uh, correct to one decimal place. Okay, I have talked to you about uh, decimal places, but let me do it. We have how many decimal places are here? The decimal places are these numbers after the decimal point to the right hand side. So they need one decimal place to remain. So we put a ball bar somewhere here, and then we stand on this number. Check on your right hand side, there is a seven. 7 is bigger than uh, 5, so you will be adding 1 to 3. And the answer becomes 3 plus 1, this is 4. 
put a decimal point over here, the answer becomes 5.4. Now what happens to a 7, 6, 3 and 9 together with 8? For the case of decimal places, these numbers are ignored. So you ignore that. So the answer remains 5.4. This is the final answer. We say this is one decimal plus. So the answer is correct to one decimal place. Okay, uh, three decimal places. Three decimal places. We have the number 5.376, uh, 3769, I mean 398. They need three decimal places. So one, two, three decimal places. Keep a boundary over here. Stand on six. Check on the right. There is a three. So you'll be adding zero. Why three is not bigger than five? So when you add zero here, we'll be getting six, seven, three, decimal point, then five. What happens on a three, nine, and eight, these numbers are ignored. So you ignore those numbers, and the answer becomes uh, 5.376. Five decimal presses, you can try that. This will be your homework. Try that. Okay. Uh, then let's go to... This question, this is what I was looking for, significant figures. Okay, remember I told you about significant figures? Now let us take a good look on this question. The question says around 2486, yeah, 4286 to one significant figure. We want to round 4286 to one significant figure. Okay, first you have to understand how many significant figures are here. We have one, two, three, four significant figures. So we have four significant figures. Now, they need only one significant figure to remain. So this is the first significant figure. This is the second significant figure. This is the third significant figure. This is the fourth significant figure. So to remain with one significant figure, that means you put a boundary or you keep a border between the first significant figure and the second significant figure. In order to remain with one significant figure, so you stand on this number here, on this digit here, check on your right there is a 2. A 2 is less than 5, so you'll be adding 0 to a 4. When you add 0 to a 4, this will be 4 plus 0, this is 4. Now, what happens on 2, 8, 6, then these numbers, 1, 2, 3, they are not ignored, they become zeros. So one, two, three, and this is your final answer. All right, uh, let us continue. Okay, now, uh, let us go to the next question. The question says, uh, around, around 0 0.0806923 to three significant figures. Okay, they need three significant figures. Okay, now remember what I said? I said that zero is not a significant figure, though you have to write it. Zero is not a significant figure. Eight is a significant figure. Zero is not a significant figure. Six is a significant figure. Nine is also a significant figure. Now, do you notice that there is this zero which is between non-zero digits? Can you see that? So it is only this zero that will be counted as a significant figure. But this zero is not counted as a significant figure. This zero is not a significant figure because it is not placed. It is not placed in between two non-zero digits. So how many significant figures are here? We have one, two, three, four significant figures. Okay. So this question has four significant figures. Now, the question is, can you round this number correct to three significant figures? Okay. So we take this number, put it over here, and we have we have to round this number correct to three significant figures. Okay, so the first significant figure is not zero. The, third, uh, the first significant figure is not this zero. The first significant figure is this eight. The second significant figure is this zero. The third significant figure is this six. 
Now, why should we stop here? It is because they need three significant figures to remain. So, stand on a six, stand on a third significant figure, put a boundary, check on the right hand side there is a nine. Nine is bigger than five, so you'll be adding one to a six. The answer will be drop this zero, drop this decimal point, drop this zero, drop this eight, uh, drop this zero, but six plus one is seven. Okay, now for significant figures, the remaining digit they become zero. Okay, now there are two answers here. There are two answers here. The first answer, the first answer is 0 0.08070. This is the first answer. The second answer, remember the theory of numbers, that uh, the theory of numbers says that uh, any zero, any zero to the right hand side of a decimal point, any zero on the right hand side of the decimal point can be cancelled. So this zero can be cancelled, but don't cancel this zero, don't even cancel this zero. The zero on the right hand side of the decimal point can be cancelled. So the second answer will be 0 0.0807. This is the second answer. Okay. Now, can you notice here these zeros? Now these zeros, these zeros here, are not be uh, are not supposed to be cancelled because this is a whole number this is a whole number it doesn't have it doesn't have a decimal point so when you cancel these zeros over here you'll be getting four which is a wrong answer which is a very wrong answer so don't cancel the zeros in a whole number i repeat don't cancel the zeros in a whole number leave the zeros in a whole number the way how they are right i hope that helps uh, you can pause this video and uh, uh, copy the notes okay let's go to this question uh, round each number to the stated number of significant figures sf stands for the word sf stands for the word significant figures okay now let us start with a uh, the number is 2569 2569 it, uh, it should be rounded to one significant figure. Okay, fine. In order for this number to have one significant figure, first of all, you have to understand how many significant figures are here in this number. Uh, one, uh, the first significant figure is two, the second significant figure is five, the third significant figure is six, the fourth significant figure is nine. So we have, we have four significant figures in this number so they want only one significant figure to remain so what do we do we take the number two five six nine take this number and then round it to one significant figure so the first significant figure is two so you put a border between two and five stand over here check on your right there is five five equals to five so you know the theory of rounding so you'll be adding one to a two and the answer becomes two plus one is three. What happens with what happens to a five six nine? All these five six and nine are replaced by zeros. So the answer will be three thousand. So the answer over here for part A. So answers for part A. Answers for part A. The answer is three thousand. Can you see that? never cancel these zeros never cancel these zeros because there is no a decimal point over here so never cancel those zeros so the answer remains three thousand okay now let us see part b okay part b uh part b is 40 47 point six eight two one we want to round this number correct to uh, correct to three significant figures okay how many significant figures are here we have four is a significant figure seven is a significant figure a decimal point has nothing to do with significant figures just to separate the whole number part and the decimal part so just continue counting the first significant figure is four second is seven 
36, 8 to 1. So how many significant figures are here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 significant figures. They need 3 significant figures to remain. So 1, 2, 3, keep a boundary over here. Check on your right, there is 8. So 8 is bigger than 5. So you'll be adding 1 to a 6. And this becomes 6 plus 1 is 7. That small point will be there, then 7, then 4. So the answer is 47.7. Now what happens on 8, 2, and 1? All these remaining digits, they are repressed by zeros. See that? So here, there are two answers basing on the theory of the decimal point. There are two answers. The first answer will be 47.7000. It's the first answer. Uh, the second answer will be any, any zero on the right hand side of a decimal point may be cancelled. So with that notification, this will be 47.7. This is the second answer. So the first answer will be that. The second answer will be that. So any of the two, any of those two answers is correct. Would you want to try C and D? Okay, feel free to try C and D and come back to me if you still face a problem. Otherwise, uh, C and D will be your homework. So, C, try that, try that. These two questions will be your, will be your homework. All right, uh, let us push on, let us push on. Okay. Uh, we have this question here. Kylie and Jason are both rounding 23.981 to one decimal place. Kylie, uh, Kylie, Kylie gets an answer of 24 and Jason gets an answer of 24.0. Now the question is who is correct and explain your answer. Okay, let us do this question. Kali and Jason are both rounding. They are both rounding. Let, let us start with Kali. Uh, 23.981. And let us go to Johnson. Johnson. Okay, all right. Now, uh, the number is the same number. 23.981. Okay, now Kalia and Jason are both rounding 23.981 to one decimal place. Okay, let me start with Kalia. Kalia gets an answer of 24 and Jason gets an answer of 24.0. Who is correct? Okay, now to one decimal place, to one decimal place, how many decimal places are here? We have one, two, three decimal places. Okay. Now, since there are two decimal places and the question says we have to remain with one decimal place, what do we do? We stand within, we stand in between the first decimal place and the second decimal place. We keep a boundary over there and then you check on your right there is 8. 8 is bigger than 5, so you'll be adding 1, you'll be adding 1 to 9. Okay, what do we get? This is 9 plus 1 is 10, is 10, but we don't write 10 like that. We write 0 and we carry 1. Can you see that? Let me repeat that. 9 plus 1 is 10, so we write 0. 9 plus 1 is 10, but we don't write 10, we write 0, then we carry 1 over here. Now 1 plus 3, this will be 4, this will be 24.0. Okay. Now, uh, Kalia gets the answer of 24. Now, Kalia made a mistake. She used uh, the concept of uh, uh, the theory of numbers, which is uh, any number to the right, uh, any number to the right of, uh, any zero to the right hand side of the decimal point can be cancelled. Now, here you cannot cancel this zero. You can't cancel this zero because this zero was 10, but remember what I said, we don't write 10, we write 0 carry 1. So when you cancel this zero, you'll be getting, you'll be getting, uh, when you cancel that zero, you'll be getting 24. Now 24 is a wrong answer. Why? Because 
this zero originates from 10 which we don't write 10 we write zero and then we carry one okay now Johnson got 24.0 Johnson is the one who is correct let us see uh, we did uh, this rounding off we, we kept a boundary between 9 and 8 and then we checked on the right we added 1 and then 9 plus 1 is 10 but carry 1 this will be 4 and this will be 24.0 so what happens with what happens to 8 and 1 remember what I said for decimal places for decimal places for decimal places the digits remain the digits remaining are ignored the digits remaining are ignored so 8 will be ignored 1 will be ignored so leaving this part empty and the answer remains 24 and the answer remains 24.0 so Johnson who wrote 24.0 is the one who is correct but carrier is kindly incorrect okay so Johnson is correct so here we say Jason is correct because the zero has to remain has to remain uh, Jason is correct because the zero has to remain uh, after rounding right so you can pause this video and take some notes otherwise uh, let us continue okay uh, uh, all right uh, so it's enough for today uh, we can uh, proceed later in a while all right bye bye for now and see you later bye